Eight issues of the day with um, T Radar under T Radar, as it were, joining us in Wellington. Good day, T Radar. From a slightly rainy, oddly haily, but now blue skied Wellington. Oh. Mm. No surprises yeah. there then this morning. No surprises. Look out the window, you never really know what to expect. Just always very happy to see the buildings. Yes. Um, but of course, we expect a lot more from our news services, um, our we do. T- TV news services. We're always let down, though, aren't we? Really? We are. You know, there's a lot of quite important news going on. There's an election coming up. Uh, the government's looking at retrospectively sort of changing legislation to make uh, covert filming legal. There's a bit of a brouhaha about jury trials. Uh, and what led the news last night? Wemo, both channels, all black, drinking issue. Ah, of what? course. Oh, if there is a New Zealander who doesn't have a drinking issue, I would suspect they were French. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's what we do, you know, and apparently, you know, I'm not going to go into the details of the case, but yeah. to lead, it was almost breaking news. They were salivating. They were drooling with excitement over the fact that this young man had an issue and after a particularly bad game of rugby where he may or may not have contributed, you know, to a loss against Australia, mm. he went out and he got on the Terps and that. That led the news. Did they pour it's all the resources it. into it? Did they get out the live trucks? There with were the live, live well, there was... Yes, they've got the uh, well, they've got their news readers out in Christchurch at the moment because the All Blacks are there, a bit of solidarity with our um, southern city, and so they had the live news readers from down there, and then there was sort of crosses, and I think the, there may have been a live cross to someone on one yeah. of the two channels. I don't know. I was sort of looking at them both with a sense of increased disdain yeah. um, and disbelief, but nonetheless, that that was what filled up the the important period. And then they moved on to all the other, you know, the minor things, law changes. And Lost, yeah, stuff yeah. being ran through Parliament while, while the Rugby World yeah. Cup's on. Yeah, and everyone's all distracted. All of that kind of mm. before the election sort of comes through. Not that anyone's which, you know, all that really aware of it, I don't think. Which, when you think about it, the TV1 and TV3 exactly played into the government's hands and exactly what the government wanted, right? Right? They're, they're, they're wow. doing all this crazy legislation while the Rugby World Cup's on because they say everyone's going to be distracted. And sure enough, yeah, they are distracted. Yeah. Sure enough, all the lead stories are all about news. Yeah, you know, it filled up last week with old um, uh, New Zealand's new anti-hero, Jonathan Dixon, who was the um, this slightly odd, um, seemingly sort of passive-aggressive bouncer down in Christchurch who released the footage of, you know, the English captain burying his, his face into the, um, the swelling lady mounds of a, of a blonde-haired woman. <laughs> A good so friend. Out how to put that. A good friend. A good friend. friend. Yes. You know, and, and that's dominated the news, and now uh, Zara's coming over, and, and he's... He's a delight. You know, they, they pop up every so often, these delightfully odd people. And uh, he was going to give a press conference yesterday, but the wonderful Steve Wilde of sort of Radio New Zealand uh, uh, must have asked him something that he didn't like. And he said because of that, he wasn't <laughs> going to talk to anyone. And he had his camera there. He was, you know, filming the media. And then he gave us a new saying, um, I think something like, don't Tindle it or something like yeah. that. There was a, 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 if it was a prime sponsorship opportunity for a um, technology you know, camera company, then that was it right there. Because what he had, he had a little um, point and click, but obviously on video function. Yeah. But he needed a nice big Sony or a Canon or something along yep. those lines. You know, there was nice prime. a little pocket-sized camera like that, you know, and someone can advertise the, the megapixels. I'm waiting for that uh, clip to come up on YouTube, actually. Yeah. You know, behind because you never see behind. You no. never really see, you know, out into the media scrum. <laughs> you always see the person. Uh, sort of like a like a possum in headlights with the cameras pointed at them and the microphones thrust up into their snout. That's right. We, we, we never really see the other side. No, you don't. We, when this when this story, um, uh, unless you've seen um, Teenage Paparazzo, that's a good little film. You seen yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, it is. But anyway, um, uh, when this f- story first broke, um, I, it, it made me feel awfully uncomfortable. You know, mm. Him talking to camera, it, it just I felt nervous. I felt afraid, a little bit embarrassed. All at the same, I was feeling it. The whole full gamut of emotions watching that news item. Yes, yes, it was, you know, oddly creepy. Yeah. Um, not as creepy as sort of creepiest uh, guy of the week. You know, if we, if we want to talk about sort of important uh, news stories, over in Arkansas, the, the police are tucking, uh, uh, tucking, uh, they're, uh, they're, they're chasing a, um, uh, a toe sucker. man is coming up to ladies, they're sitting around, he uh, takes their shoes off, offers to... Um, to suck their toes. Goodness. And apparently describing some of them as long and succulent. And Ooh. the woman, of course, some of them get somewhat upset by this. And uh, off they go. It's not the first time. It seems to be a spate of it in the 1990s. They had the toe suck theory they were chasing. But how do you get... Um, but, but really, I mean, how, how does one get up close enough in order to, you know, get the sucking underway? I don't know. I think it's women who are sitting on chairs. Huh. So watch out, woman. Stop sitting on chairs in Arkansas. Yeah. Right. You know? How strange.
Very strange. But look, story of the week. I, I was uh, following you on the old uh, Twitter uh, yesterday, having a look at what was going on. Saw that you were playing a few games, obviously very successfully. Yeah, no and doubt. Yeah. Wonderful... What were you playing? Um, Gunstringer, actually. We're going to talk about it later on on the show. It's one of those, oh, yeah. one of those connect ones, right? And you're, oh, and you're, and you're, yeah, no. you're, you're um, operating, I'll tell you a little bit about now, but you're operating a, um, what do you call it, you know, a mar- is it a marionette with the, uh, where you, you got a character with strings? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, using your hands, you're kind of operating him um, as he's running through this world with a, um, with a little gun through a, like a, uh, a cowboy type universe. Um, and with the other hand, you're moving him around the screen. And with the other hand, you're, you're firing off it's his gun and hands. shooting things. That's three hands. Is that probably? Yeah, I felt like I needed three hands. No, so everybody needs a hobby. Look, <laughs> well, good news of the week. Look, you know, everyone sort of occasionally gets down on gamers and things like that. Although we're sort of past that, really, and we're realising that it's, you know it's mostly sort of guys in there. I think in their sort of late twenties and thirties, <laughs> such as yourself, they're yeah. way playing it. But this week, um, look, scientists for for several years have had a bit of a problem with an enzyme. It's an AIDS-like virus, and they wanted to sort of to uh, to undo its its DNA structure. Uh, turns out. They put it onto a website called Fold It, which is um, it's, a, it's a website that sort of people go on and they um, they attempt to crack and unfold um, the structures of viruses. And these gamers did it in three weeks. Wow! Now yeah. is that is that using? I think what they do is they use the unused um, CPU cycles on their computers. Now you've lost me. Well, yes, so, so, so when that when they're not busy gaming, I suppose, um, and when when the computer's not busy crunching through. You know, important yes, business important stuff like uh, pictures of cats and <laughs> yeah, it's it. um, it's it's doing this the, this folding business, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. So yeah, they they go there and they um, it's basically they unfold chains of amino acids. Um, wow. You know, and, and the great thing is, there's been a lot of studies into this. That, that sort of element of competition. Why is it that people do these things for free? Um, you know, whatever it may be, social networks, anything like that, de- developing sort of software. You know, you know um, trying to figure out stuff like this. And it's just one of those things that we hmm. seem to have deep in our structure. We want to sort of get out there and see if we can't solve a problem. We hate, we hate having something that we can't solve. And so we get in there and we give it a go and they've cracked it. For the greater good. For the greater good. Now, why didn't that lead the news last yeah, night? Exactly, eh? The good news yeah. stuff. Thank you very much, T-Radar. We'll speak again next week. Sounds good. See you, mate. Right up.